Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, praise you, and honor you because you are a good God. We want to thank you because of Her Excellency, Pastor Dr. Dorcas. We want to thank you because of the commissioning and the mandate and the mantle that you have bestowed on her, not only for this generation, but for the generations to come. We want to thank you because of the occasion of today. Father, thank you because of revelations. Thank you because of insight. We want to bless your holy name for all the activities of the day. Father, as many as are under the sound of our voice, we pray that the blessing of the Lord shall continuously manifest in their lives. We honor you and we honor you forever. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Please, you can take your seats. Your Excellency, me standing here, instead of standing there because everybody was not coming here, so I thought it's good for me to come up here because everybody, I was waiting for senior bishop to come here. So let me represent you here. Luke chapter number 17, 10 minutes, we are done. Luke chapter number 17, beginning from verse number 11 to verse number 19. Luke chapter number 17, verse number 11, to verse number 19 and it that he passed through the midst of Samaria in Galilee verse number 12 and as he entered a certain village there met him ten lepers which stood afar off that in and they lifted up their voices and said Jesus master of mercy on us and when he saw them he said unto them go show yourselves unto the priests and it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Where were there not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? Eighteen. There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you whole. Father, once again, we ask you to bless this sermonet. Touch us with the touch of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ten lepers. They were together. They couldn't get into the ministry for condition. They were social rejects. Should we call them pariahs or something like that? And the Bible says when they saw Jesus from far, they cried unto him, Jesus have mercy on us. And Jesus did not pray for them. He just told them, go and show yourselves to the priests. So they went. As they were going, they got healed on the way. There are miracles which happen on the spot. And there are miracles which happen when you begin to obey the word of the Lord. So as they went, the Bible says they all got healed. Now having gotten healed one of them decided I will go back to Jesus. And now, there comes the first revelation. When Jesus saw them, he told them, go and show yourselves to the priests. When they got healed, this one Samaritan had a revelation that I don't have to go to those priests. Jesus is the high priest. So I will go back to him. The instruction was go show yourselves to the priests. But when he got the revelation that Jesus is a high priest, he came back 
to show himself to Jesus. May this office continue operating under revelations. Revelations of what should be done when, where, in the name of Jesus Christ. And when he came back, I, I believe there was an altercation between him and the nine. Because there was an agreement. Let's go back to him and tell him thank you. But they said we are not going to go back. We'll go show ourselves to the priests. He came to Jesus. Fell down. Now when you see how he worshipped Jesus. Then we discover that thanksgiving should take a serious demeanor. A serious habit because when they were praying for healing it was Jesus have mercy on us and they were told to go they got healed but when he came back when you see how first the Bible says he came and fell down at Jesus feet thanking him and worshiping him he took more time in thanking God brethren we have been called to take more time in thanking God than asking him to do things for us. This man fell down at his feet. He started telling Jesus, thank you, I worship you. You have done marvelous things to me. Thank you, Lord. And he took more time in thanksgiving than the time they had taken in prayer. Jesus asked the question, where are the nine? My brother and my sister, the nine who did not come back, and this man, they were taught two different things. The one who came back, Jesus said, now go, your faith has made you well. Go. But the other nine, go show yourself to the priests. And these are the priests who were not believers in Jesus. So, the ones who never came back, they must have had complications. Because when you tell the priest you are healed, he may believe you. But when you say it is Jesus who has healed you, these priests were representatives of Judaism. They were Pharisees. They were sworn enemies with Jesus. It is better you say somebody else has healed you. When you say it is Jesus, you are messing them up without knowing. So the nine who went to show themselves to the priest, though, though they were healed, they had complications. They had problems. Because the people you are showing yourself to, they don't want to hear anything about Jesus. And also, you don't go showing yourself to the priest, be like a kitu. When you become somebody who thanks God all the time, you will be spared what other peoples are not spared. People get blessings and those blessings become complicated, sophisticated later because of the lack of thanksgiving. This man who came back, what was he told? Go your way. Originally, they had been told 10 of them, Go show yourself to the priests. But because of thanksgiving, he was spared the greeting by the priests. If you come back and you become thanksgiving person, there are complications other people will go through. You will be spared. Hallelujah. When God has given you victory, become thankful. Most of the complications we are having with our victories today is because of lack of thanksgiving. We thank God because of her excellency because you remember, beginning of this year, all of us were in Nakuru. Why? Because there had been a promise to God that if you give us victory, which was given under the other regime and this regime, we should go back to Nakuru and give thanks to God. So we went to Nakuru just to tell God thank you because you did it. 
ladies and gentlemen, the man who came to say thank you was told, now go your way. He didn't go to the priest. Those ones who went to the priest, once you go to the priest, number one, though you are healed, you are given seven days. Go and come back. But this one was told, just go your way. Go your way. Things were made simple. If you're full of praises unto God, thanks even unto God, God is going to make things simple for you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you, praise you, and honor you because of the day that is today. You have entered into the heart of Her Excellency, Pastor Dr. Dorcas, to someone as here just to come and be grateful unto God, all of us together. Father, you healed 10 leopards. One came back. We have chosen to be coming back all the time to tell you thank you for the things you have done. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, may now Israel say yes. our enemies could have swallowed us up alive. Father, we want to thank you for today. Though it is raining physically, we know in the spiritual there are torrents of blessing and we know everything is going to be okay. Father, we pray that as many as are here thanking you today, you will sustain us and keep us alive until 2024, end of it, that we may congregate again here to tell you thank you for what you have done. We honor you, and we honor you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for his word. Amen. Coming back to say, Father, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You know, many times some of us have children, and the child who Mommy, Daddy, thank you. That, you uh, that statement makes you a day. So, our Father, thank you. We are here to say, we are here to say, thank you. We are here to say, Thank you. We are here to say thank you. Now, into the presence of God as we give thanks to God. A song, I am going to ask all of us to rise. Finish. I want you to specifically, individually, give thanks to God. You. In your own. We will have itemized uh, thanksgiving prayer, which is going to. Gospel Church Emeritus Bishop, uh, the founder uh, Arthur Kitonga, the last name not many of you know. Okay, so he's going to lead us and he will specifically give thanks for the presidency of this country, Kenya. Presidency. Arthur Kitonga, that is the line you will take. And after you finish, as you sit down, Bishop Geoffrey Njuguna of deliverance, just in case there is something that needs to be delivered, we are not taking chance. Please, Njuguna, you will be there to, uh, to pray, you know, to give thanks for the church in this country, the church in Kenya, and even for us to be able to meet here. We don't come from one umbrella, but we are one in the spirit. That's a miracle. Give thanks to God. You, so it, you, 
after the archbishop finishes, you're gonna you just stand and pick it from there. And no, no preaching is just giving thanks to God. Then followed by our economy. His Excellency made a statement the other day. We are beginning to come out of the woods. We were in the woods. And therefore we need to celebrate and give thanks to God for the economy of this country. Bishop David Mraithi, House of Grace. The grace of God. We all oh, we need the grace. The grace of God. So, yeah. And then after him, two more others, we will also give thanks for the national. Dr. Robert Wahinya from the PCEA, what at a letter CCEO, Taratibu Pole Pole, we are not living.